Lord is our God, always now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, Lord, everywhere present, and fill us all things. Treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls of doom. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, bought on our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One. Visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And then is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King God. How beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord of hosts, my soul long and good faith, and through the courts of the Lord, my heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, and to ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee, he hath made a sense in his heart, and veil of weeping in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the law of your rule give blessings, they shall go from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Sion. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer, give O God of Jacob. O God, our defender, behold and look upon the face of thine anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loveth mercy and truth, God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land, and thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people, thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all their wrath to cease, thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us into the ages, or wilt thou draw out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation do thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely nigh unto them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down then, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. Look upon me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaid. 
Work in me a sign of the good, and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame, for thou, Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Work in me a sign of the good, and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame, for thou, Lord, hast opened me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today the bonds of barrenness are loosed, for God, hearkening unto Yoke, even on the manifestly promise that they will beyond all expectation give birth to the divine maiden, from whom the infinite one himself, becoming man, shall be born. And he commanded the angels to cry unto her, Rejoice, thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. O thou, for our sake, was born of a virgin, and didst suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death by death. And as God didst reveal the resurrection, stay not that which thou hast fashioned with thy hand, show forth thy love for mankind, no merciful one, except the Theotokos who gave thee birth, who interceded for us, and to thou our Savior, save this very people. Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant. And cause not thy mercy to depart from us for Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the beginning of the Amen. Amen. Today the whole world doth celebrate Adam's conceiving, which was brought about by God, for she gave birth unto her, who ineffably gave birth unto the Word. <coughs> What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who loves the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who calls to all the salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of that unapproachable glory, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption, gave us birth to God, the Word, the very Theotokos, that we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. May be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long-suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even unto this present hour, wherein thou didst hang upon the life-giving tree, and didst make a way into paradise for the wise thee, and by death didst destroy death. Be gracious unto us sinners and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven. For we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake. 
for our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us mm-hmm. from the hand of the adversary and forgive us our sins and mortify our carnal mind, that putting aside the old man we may be clad with the new and live for the air master and benefactor, and thus that by following thy commandments we may attain to rest everlasting, wherein is the dwelling place of all them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee do we send up glory, with thine unoriginate Father, and thy most holy and good and life creating spirit. Now endeavor unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, O Lord, and our Heaven, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on. Who coverest thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. Be of this like a garment is his mantle, upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointedst a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge, from the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hairs. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointed to the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation. So is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth his going down, thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. He set us free to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. From above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of 
God in the union of all let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us fully tremble and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our great Lord and Father, His Holiness, Patriarch, Kirill. For our Lord, the very most reverend, Metropolitan Hilarion, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate of Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commandite Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For this land and authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the guns are in Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For seasonable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Travelers might see land and air for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, boys, that eat there, Tokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, Lord.
When my spirit was fainting within me, then thou knewest my path. In this way wherein I have walked, they hid for me a snare. I looked upon my right hand and beheld, and there was none that did know me. Why that failed me, and there was none that wanted to for my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope, my portion art thou in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may confess thy name. The righteous shall wait patiently for me, until thou shalt reward me. Out of the depths of I cried unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou shouldst mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For with me there is forgiveness. Wondrous is God in his age. The work is miracles among the generations of Christians. And revealed his new chosen ones. For we now see the favored one, your son, glorified by Christ, in whom and in the rush and land with the beauty of his virtues, and possess of great boldness, to grant peace to the whole world, and great mercy to our souls. For thy name's sake have I patiently waited for thee, O Lord, my soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord, the choir of thy saints, O Lord, hath been augmented by the repose of thy holy hierarchy, yourself, whom the true church himeth on earth, except thou prayers in our behalf, O thou who lovest mankind, as thou hast great mercy. From the morning watch until the night, from the morning watch. Let Israel open the Lord, as the darkness of the night doth thicken. The radiance of the stars increaseth, and the eyes of those who are astray are lifted thereto. Thus also as the darkness of sin increaseth on earth, let us lift up our eyes, O brethren, and catching sight of the splendor of the virtues of the holy hierarch, let us make peace to the heavenly homeland, whereof may the Lord do hath great mercy, not deprive our sinners. In the fourth tone, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. Rejoice, O sacred one, yourself, holy hierarch of God, divine wise standard of pastors, and all good instructor of monks. Rejoice, all glorious healer of the sick, and merciful consoler of the sorrowful. Pray thou ever to the Lord, that we may be emulators of thee, and having disdain all things sinful, may labor for God alone. O praise the Lord, all ye nations, Praise Him, all ye peoples. Rejoice, O poser of the passions, and labor of spiritual activity. Rejoice, O righteous one, full of humbleness of mind, reprover of the prideful of this world, and terrible punisher of the slothful. Cease thou never to pray to the Lord for us, that we may be saved. For he hath made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. Rejoice, dweller in heaven, who regardest the earth with a merciful light, and accept just the supplications of those who hear thee. Rejoice, thou who didst ever lift thine eyes unto heaven, 
and spurned earthly possessions. Teach us, therefore, O holy hierarch of Christ, to acquire treasure in heaven, and to behold thy glory clearly there. Glory in the second tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With one hymn to preach shall we crown the Holy Hierarch of Christ, to unceasingly declare the glory of the Lord, and everywhere plant a true piety, the living tablet of the commandments of Christ, who gazed not upon the faces of men, but led the souls of all to salvation, for with imperishable crowns of Christ our God, who hath great mercy crowned him. Both now the Lord medically are talking in the same tone, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the shadow of the Grant this, O 
us, O Lord. We may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, in a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Calling Remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To shall meditate wisdom, and his tongue shall speak of judgment. Let us excel in piety, O brethren, for we see it crowned with everlasting glory. Let us despise pride and avarice, for the holy hierarch of Christ burning them hath received everlasting glory in heaven and on earth. And hath obtained a treasure which cannot be taken away. Wherefore he hath acquired from God the boldness to pray for sinful people, and the griefs of feelings that he may teach the iniquitous the ways of God, and turn the impious to the Lord. Glory both now in the same tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having recourse to thy protection, O Mistress, we mortals cry out to thee. O Theotokos, our hope deliver us from our measureless transgressions, and save thou our souls. Now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people, Israel. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, of mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O holy heart, beloved of Christ, God, thou wast the ruler of faith and all of loving kindness for men. Thou didst shine forth like a beacon in vigil, fasting and prayer, and hast been shown forth as glorified by God. Wherefore, abiding in incorruption in thy body, while standing in spirit before the throne of God, thou pourest forth most glorious wonders. Entreat Christ God that he establish our own land in orthodoxy and piety, and save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We am thee who has mediated the salvation of our race. O Virgin Theotokos, for thy Son and our God accepting suffering on the cross in the flesh he had received of thee as he delivered us from corruption in that he is the lover of mankind have mercy on us O God according to thy great mercy we freely hearken and have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy and we pray for our great Lord and Father his holiness patriarch here for our Lord and very most reverend metropolitan hilarion first hierarch of the Russian church abroad and all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander, I serve him, and all his brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for this land, its authorities, and armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the God-preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren gone to their rest before us, and the Orthodox here and every related to them. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. More than all others we have sinned against thee, and we have transgressed, O Master. And if we have not acquired repentance, instead of repentance, accept our offering. And having set thyself to mercy, as thou art almighty, free thy servants from the coronavirus, Groaning in pain, we pray thee quickly hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Look now, O Master, who lovest mankind upon the sacrificial labors of our medical workers, 
Send them steadfast health, strength, and fortitude of spirit, wisdom to accomplish their work for the good of our people, and bring about within the healing of thy suffering servants. We earnestly pray thee, quickly hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And thou mightest look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land and make it unconquerable by those who work strife. We pray thee, O kind hearted Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety, and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that you will bless the building of our new church and that its foundation may be laid successfully to the glory of his name and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion by the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple. For them that minister and them that chant and for all the people here present who await the great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Oh, merciful God, art thou and the lover of mankind and unto thee we send up glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Father, bless. He that is, is blessed, Christ our God, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Establish, O God, the holy Orthodox faith of Orthodox Christians. Unto the ages of ages. O most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth through God the Word. The very Theotokos, the eternally magnified. Glory to thee, O Christ God, our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. In Christ our true God, to the intercessions of his most pure Mother, to the power of the precious and life-giving cross, to the intercessions of the holy, glorious, and all-praised apostles, the holy great martyr and healer of the late, of St. Eurosoft, Bishop of Belgorod, of the holy martyrs Manas, Hermogenes, and Eugrophus, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our great Lord and Father, Kirill, most holy patriarch of Moscow and of Russia, our Lord's very most reverend Devarian, Metropolitan of Eastern America and New York, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, the all venerable abbot of this holy monastery, Archimedes Seraphim, the brethren of this holy monastery, and all Orthodox Christians, preserve of old Lord for many years.